Hello, sweet friends, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as promised, I am picking up where I left off in last week's video, so if you missed it, don't forget to check that out. I'll leave it in the description box below. We are picking up by finishing out this patio, just refreshing it a little bit, getting it nice and tidied up for my son's birthday party. That is what we were preparing for, and then I will show you guys just some real quick abbreviated party prep, and then I will show you guys party takedown, and then we are decluttering a space in my closet so if you came for some motivation, you will not leave disappointed. Let's go ahead and jump right on into this video. Dallas! Dallas! <laughs> As you can see, I am just blowing off all the leaves. Like I said, we have two trees that just shed leaves year round. It doesn't matter, like all summer long, they shed leaves when it's hot outside. The fall, of course, it's just a hot mess. But I was getting all of that pa back patio blown off because the birthday party, we were gonna just have a bounce house in the back. And so most of the party would be outside. So I was just trying to kind of tidy it up. It's just kid toys everywhere and just needed you know, to be cleaned up. And then I am working on this grill. I am not aiming for perfection with this grill. I just wanted to wipe off that layer of pollen. And 
And as you can see, this grill needs a good deep clean. I need to clean out that tray below. I need to pull out the, the grill grates inside the grill. But that was for another day. We weren't using this grill at the party or anything. It just was covered, as you can see, in a thick layer of pollen. So I was trying to get that first coat off. And then I don't know what is over there on the side, but I got off as much as I could. But again, I didn't want to spend too much time on it. It wasn't really of great importance. I was just trying to kind of shine it up just a little bit. And then here I will take you through the finished product of just everything I got done. And then we will head on inside and I will show you a little bit of the party prep. My son's birthday was Sonic the Hedgehog themed. So I will show y'all just little clips of things. I didn't take y'all all the way through the full blown party prep. Those videos don't tend to do wonderful on my um, channel. I don't know why. You'll have to let me know in the comments below. Do you like to see me do the balloon arches and some of those things that I do? For some of my kiddos parties or do you prefer seeing the takedown seems like the takedown always gets more views than the party prep and put up so let me know in the comments below if you prefer to see some more of that and i can try and do that at the next party which won't be for a little while it's like a parking garage here I just wanted to show you guys a really simple DIY project. Say you have a kiddo that wants a Sonic theme or you need some sort of rings like this for a party. All I did was I took streamers that I got at the Dollar Tree and then these are um, like a floral ring like you could make a floral arrangement out of it all of it from the dollar tree used a little bit of glue to stick the streamer on and then i just wrapped those suckers at least two times where you could not see the green anymore and then we are going to use these to hang downstairs to make it look like the rings from like the sonic game and the movies and everything those little gold rings so this turned out really cute and was super cheap and easy so i just wanted to share a little bit of the process of making these rings for um the sonic birthday day party. Okay, I'm not a big DIYer. Y'all probably learned that about me from by now if you've been here for any time but i am trying to come up with this little game i forget what it's called like pop it or socket or something where they punch through the like tissue paper and there's a little prize or candy or something inside i am going to attempt to make this out of an old canvas that i had and this is a little just one of the little games that i am putting together for my son's birthday party so i'm going to bring you guys along i think it should be fairly simple you could do this with like some leftover cardboard or something you need something fairly substantial i think i, I literally don't know what i'm doing but this is this is in my head how you have to, you will have to have something substantial and you can lay it flat on the ground or prop it up or hang it up or however you want to do it i'm probably just going to prop it against something but anyways, I'm going to glue these cups on and then you're going to wrap tissue paper around them and secure them with a rubber band. That's what I'm doing and we will see how it turns out. We got our glue gun warming. I was kind of just laying this out to see how many, but what I think I'm going to do is set up. I have this old canvas that I did years and years ago. And I have no purpose for it. It's kind of Sonic colors. So to, I thought it just might give it a little something because I'm gonna, what am I gonna do with this? So I'm actually gonna glue it to this one, but I wanted to see how many cups I needed. And I had an extra one here. I didn't know if I needed to do two, but it's not gonna be a huge party. So I think just one canvas will be enough. So Let's see how it goes.
one. Done. All right. It is not perfectly symmetrical. It would drive my husband nuts. But you know what? I love just something I could do pretty easy, minimal measuring involved. And I think it turned out pretty good. Yes, there's a gap there, but hey, it looks like it's intentional, right? <laughs> Maybe those can be, have some bigger prizes in them or something. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna let this dry and then we're gonna put the tissue paper and the rubber bands on. Also came with balloons that you could blow up and attach to the sign. I'm not gonna do that piece, but then it gives you all the numbers to do all the ages. And it all came in this box from Amazon. So I'll leave it linked below. Waterpo waterproof, reusable, easy assembly. Check on all of those. I don't know about waterproof and I haven't reused it, but it was definitely easy assembly. So I will give you a link for this in case you were interested. Very reasonably priced and I love that I can use it for all of my kiddos. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places makes me laugh about the irony of it. was my actual son's birthday and we had let him open a couple of gifts in the morning. We had got him new bedding. We are slowly getting his room updated. Like we still need to take down that G and that banner once I can find something to replace it. But we have put Spider-Man stuff up. His room is Spider-Man themed, but recently he's gotten into Sonic the Hedgehog. So we got him some Sonic sheets and some Spider-Man sheets so he can kind of interchange them. But we put all the character stuff kind of underneath and then we get him a real basic quilt. I love doing that because they'll get tired of their characters, but at least their actual bedding that shows the quilt or whatever will not be 
so narrowed down into a specific character so we went ahead and did the same color because that goes with his room and i will link what i can below this quilt and the sham came from amazon and the spider-man sheets that y'all will not see probably in this video they came from amazon as well and then sonic the hedgehog we found that at target so i will show you guys kind of making up this bed i will be having to adjust this to this bed because it is not near as easy as zipping up those beds Betty's bedding and I will be keeping that as a backup but it was kind of time for him to have something different he'd had that since he was like two years old and we had moved in this house so it was time to freshen up his room like I said we are slowly getting his room updated piece by piece but we're gonna finish this up I'm gonna show you the old bedding and then I'm gonna show you guys his reaction to his new bedding when he got home from school Excited? Yeah. Okay, yeah. You like it? Uh-huh. You want me to sleep in your bed? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now it is the next day and it is the day of the party. So I'm showing you guys the, the beginnings of making my balloon arch. I divided all of my balloons into sh into sizes and into colors. And then I'm just doing a little editing magic so you guys don't have to sit there and watch me blow up all of these balloons with my little balloon pump. If you get into ever doing balloon arches, the balloon pump is the absolute best thing you can ever purchase. I have gotten so much use out of that. And then I have learned a new trick is to string your balloon arch your little, um, whatever it is that you put your balloon arch into, I don't know what that plastic piece is called. I've learned to string it between two chairs and that makes life so much easier. And then bam, I wish it took only that like five seconds to put that up on the wall, but it took a little bit longer than that. But here is the balloon arch all put together. I think it turned out so cute. My kids loved it. My, my son's friends loved it. It was just adorable. And then I got this little hanging fringe from Dollar Tree and I think it just all turned out super cute. He only wanted like a couple of friends and he just wanted a really small party so we literally I just went all out on that so he could take some pictures with the balloon arch and then we bought a bounce house and that was it and we fed the kids pizza and cake. It was a simple easy and really very budget friendly kind of party, which was fun, but I love doing the decor. That is my thing. So since he wasn't going anywhere, didn't want any sort of, you know, party at Chuck E. Cheese or anything like that, I just wanted to go all out at home and let him have some cool decorations to make it a little more exciting. And then we just kind of had food and snacks. And then, like I said, pizza and cake. And then I'll show you guys the bounce house and kind of how it turned out outside. And then we will get into the party break down. Another great thing about having this small little party at our house and then renting a bounce house is that company came out, they set up the bounce house and left, and then they came back. We were able to actually have the bounce house for the entire weekend. They did not come back until Monday afternoon to pick it up, but we didn't have to lift a finger. They came in, set it up, and they came back and took it down and it was so easy. So all I had to do was take care of the decor and there is the bounce house. I just think it turned out so cute. And again, my son just had the best birthday. son named each game we played two games and this he called knuckles smash because that is one of the characters of sonic the hedgehog and then we made these little gold rings and dropped them outside and did a sonic relay race today i've got about an hour so i'm just gonna try to do a little power hour for today's little cleaning session i'm always trying to just get a little bit done every day my youngest is taking his nap as you can see i've got party 
decorations up here from my son's birthday that was this weekend. So I wanna do a little clean up here. But first, I am trying to stay on top of my laundry. Y'all saw my laundry, I think it was last week. And it was a hot mess and it looked like that up until yesterday. Me and my husband got after it. We got it all folded, put away. We reset for the week. This is a Monday and so I'm trying to stay on top of it. So I'm gonna start out folding a load of laundry and then I may try to go ahead and get some of these birthday decorations down and then go from there. But that's kind of my goal right now. So let's go ahead, if you have some laundry, grab it and let's fold a load of laundry together. Let's keep on top of our laundry this week. I desperately need that motivation and accountability. So if you are like me, then let's stay on top of it today. One load a day, all the way through, folded and put away. So my first load here is towels, but I do have one more load going, but my goal is to also try to get that done, at least folded and put you know, in the basket and not left in the room. I really wanna get it put away too, but I am gonna get this load of towels folded and put away. So let's go ahead and get going. said this a lot and I will continue to repeat it. I think that if you're not into doing a lot of decor or things like that for birthdays or holidays, one way to just elevate and kind of throw something out there that's sweet and simple but still is kind of fun and festive is a banner. If you have somewhere you can hang a banner that says happy birthday, Merry Christmas, happy Thanksgiving, whatever it may be, a sweet little banner is always, it goes a long way. So if you're not into decorating or doing a whole, whole lot, I I always encourage people well, just throw up a banner that is better than nothing and it's very simple and it's very easy to reuse and then you know store away and use it again year after year and then I had to give my little Sonic a good squeeze and hug and then I actually have sent him up to my son's room to I don't want to say die but to deflate and come to the end of his inflation. <laughs> and then here we are getting down the big balloon. Man, this thing comes down so much quicker than it goes up. Isn't that always the case? And don't worry for those of you who have watched any of my video takedowns when I do balloon arches, there is plenty of startling balloon pops that catch me off guard that I'm getting ready to share with you guys in just a second.
think I love the takedown just as much as I love putting it up, but because it, it always just feels so good to have that fresh reset. So it felt so nice to have this room back to its original form and vacuumed up and just everything down. It just felt so good to have it nice and reset. We had a blast this that weekend for my son's birthday, and it was nice to take it down and kind of calm the chaos again not that that it just you know decorations like that kind of create a whole chaotic atmosphere I don't know how to describe it but anyways there's Sonic he's getting ready to go back upstairs to my son's room and then we are going to move on into a next day and I am going to show you how easily you can tackle a quick little declutter project I didn't have any time on this day to do really much of anything but I wanted to tackle this closet it was driving me nuts and literally guys it took me maybe 20 minutes so check this out and if you have a little space that needs to be decluttered. Let's do it together. Let's do it right now. <laughs> this is a chuck it in this closet closet. I'll be in fools drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. need to be there in the wrong space there are some things over here I'm getting ready to donate and then some of this stuff is gonna have to go back in here but I'm gonna just see what we can thin out like these big chair covers over here in the back I am donating those they no longer serve us I don't know on the pillows because I like to get pillow covers even if I don't like those pillows so I hate to get rid of those but I'm trying to think if this is the right spot for them. And I think I might have, I'm gonna go look another place, make sure if I have more pillows, then those can maybe go. Not the lemon, but the other ones. So anyways, took me less than five minutes. So just showing you how quickly you can do a little declutter. I have less than an hour now um, until I need to go get my three-year-old. So we're just gonna go through this real quick. I'm gonna vacuum and then put what needs to go back in in and bag up donations. kitchen. Put that over there for now. 
Okay, I think everything else is going back in. So now we vacuum. come to the realization that decluttering and organizing it's just a lifelong process I think it gets easier it's just like a muscle the more and more that you work it the easier it gets and the more you declutter the less you have but I still think even when you've decluttered as much as you want you're still going to continue you know things break things don't serve a purpose for you you go through different seasons of life so I just wanted to encourage you that you know the more you do it if it's something you struggle with the better better you will get. Just start small, smart, start in one little drawer and work your way into bigger things and you will be amazed and your house will start to feel better. And I'm just the type of person, like if I have a lot of clutter and things start getting in disarray, I just don't function right. My brain just does not like clutter and I don't do well. So that is why I try to always stay on top of it and why I am constantly decluttering and trying to reorganize and make things better. And I don't know that I will ever stop doing that. I don't know that you ever arrive at some location of no more decluttering ever needed. I don't think you ever arrive there. I think it is a constant thing, but it just gets easier with time and practice. This is the final product. Got our flag. We put this in the front of our house, so I guess that's why my husband put it there. I think it makes sense. And then we use this patio umbrella. It goes right out that door. And then my daughter's gymnastics bar, which she wants to use so much more. So that was one reason why it was hard to get in here to get it. So this way I can access this the most. This will be the, probably the most used item. That our box fan, our little air fort. That's my ring light I use. This is a leaf to our table. This is my piano music. This is old, like, gaming Nintendo stuff that we have and this little TV tray we use sometimes in our family room. So that looks so much better. I have these two bags going out. That's just extra decor that just literally probably in the rush of having a party or doing something I just threw you know throw everything in the closet. <laughs> so those are leaving. I don't know what to do with this guy. We have had him my mom has had him for since I was a senior in high school. And I don't know what to do with them. I don't use them. I've used them at like one party I threw. He's so cute and unique. But I don't know what to do with him. So let me know, guys. What would you do? Would you donate him? Or do you have a purpose? Is there something? He's not super sturdy, so you can't put a whole lot here. Like he could hold keys at the door. I don't know. No one's going to put their keys there. I don't know. Let me know what you guys would do with him because I don't know. Help me decide his fate. And then this stuff just didn't belong. Like I said, this is trash. That goes on one of our seats. And this is the stuff. This is a potty prize my son is working to earn. Shoes go upstairs. This stuff just needed to go somewhere else. It didn't belong in there. That is belongs in the kitchen. So there you have it. And that probably took me, gosh, 15 minutes maybe. And I was recording it. And it always takes longer. So tackle something even though you think it might take forever. I mean, that looked, I don't know. It looked overwhelming to me, but that did not take me long at all. I didn't have to make major decisions, but I do have one thing that I may put him back in here for right now. I hate to do that. I don't want him to stay if he doesn't need to stay. But anyways, that's it. And then I've got these two huge bags going out. That was taking up a huge space. I had some extra pillows. I put them inside this little end table. And that is so much better. And I can walk in here. I can grab whatever it is I need. We can walk right back out. So much better and such a quick project. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you in our community. And I will see you guys back here next week. Take care.